What's good, YouTube? Keith Moore Jr. here, and it has been a crazy, <laughs> crazy week. Leading up to my first men's physique show, um, I'm about, as of now, I'm seven days out. But um, on this past Wednesday, I think it was either Wednesday or Thursday, I can't remember now, but I'm pretty sure it was Wednesday, which um, I was when I was 10 days out from the competition, I actually found out that for the INBA, which is the organization that I became a member of, oh, and I have my, uh, my membership card here, just to show you all the proof, the proof is in the pudding. So yeah, this is my, uh, my membership card here. Has my name and stuff on the back, my address also, so I won't, <laughs> I won't show that side. But anyway, so in men's physique, you know, normally it's, you know, you come out, you do front pose, then you do quarter turns, turn to the back. Another quarter turn. Then back to the front. So that's how most men's physique posing goes. And then uh, in, the final, in the finals in the evening, you have your own round to walk out by yourself, etc. But for IMBA men's physique, you actually have to perform bodybuilding poses which I did not learn, like I said earlier, until 10 days out. And for me, that was a big deal because I've been attending posing practice the past five or six weeks now, and I've been working on men's physique poses. Now, I know some bodybuilding poses, but posing during a show can, can really make or break you if you don't really know how to hit the poses. So, I mean, I, was, uh, I know how to do the side chest, side tricep, but when it came to the overhead, overhead abdominal pose, um, that was that was the main one I was having difficulty with. And even the side tricep, like I wasn't even sure if I was doing that right. So I immediately panicked because I mean I obviously want to do well in the show, and I don't want to go up, go up there not knowing how to hit certain poses, you know, the the right way. So I immediately became stressed out. I'm like, oh my gosh. And it's crazy. This is how I found out they do bodybuilding poses. I don't know how, but I guess I was so excited registering for my first show that I didn't pay attention to the details and the posing section on the website that shows what the men's physique poses is for that organization when they do their comparison round. So, but what made me go back and look at the website was like, I've been on YouTube and I've looked at hundreds, hundreds of men's physique shows and none of them have bodybuilding poses. So for the organization that I, that I signed up for, the IMBA, I would search, it's also called ABA. So I would search ABA men's physique competitions and nothing on YouTube would come up. So this particular day, I happened to search INBA men's physique competitions, you know, just to see what my competition would be like and how those shows are ran. And then I'm looking and I see them, the first show I saw was from 2013 and I saw them doing bodybuilding poses and I'm like, oh crap. I'm like, okay, maybe the rules have changed. So then I put in INBA 2016 men's physique competitions and no, they were still doing bodybuilding poses. So long story short, I became stressed. I started practicing the bodybuilding poses because I'm not gonna drop off the show. I don't care. I'm gonna practice, practice every day leading up to the show. Then something told me to check and see if there were any other shows going on that same weekend. And there is. Now, this show is um, part of the OCB, which is the Organization of, Competitor, Organization of Competitive Bodybuilders. And they have their natural source, another natural organization that has a show the same day. So I'm like, whoa, I hope it's not too late to register. So I call them. I have to pay like a, a late fee and things like that. So long story short, 
that I feel like that was just, it was meant to be because I'm registered for that show now. It's still in Illinois. So I really lucked up. So April 16th, I will still be competing. I was going to compete regardless, but I had like that next morning, I woke up at 5 a.m. went and practiced bodybuilding poses in the sauna. And like, I was going to get a lot of practice, but the thing is, was I doing it right? Was my biggest concern. And in my head, I'm like, if I have to do bodybuilding poses, I may as well do, you know, enter into classic physique, which I might do later this year. Since I, I mean, I'm a member of INBA, I'm not gonna let that membership go to waste. So I still will be competing this year in the INBA show, but now I know I need to work on bodybuilding poses. And the total amount, I, I wrote it down in my planner so I can tell you all the total amount that I had to spend for like the OCB, um, OCB registration, membership, uh, had to pay for tanning, and then uh, got polygraph tests, and the total I had to spend was $369. And for my other show, I told you all what I spent for that, no, I don't get a refund, but I look at it like this. Regardless, it's an investment in myself, I'll, I'll make the money back. The, the money's the least of my worries, but I don't want to go out there and be completely thrown off about something that I was not prepared for at all. And like I said, posing's a, a big deal for these shows. So that's what it is. So OCB and they're actually uh, affiliated with WNBF and they are, hold on, don't let me, don't let me lie, but let me check my, my phone because I, I have it in here. There, um, when when you do well in those shows, you can go pro in the. Let me find the organization name, cause I be you know uh, NPC always sticks out, but OCB is what NPC is. The IFBB. Uh, let me see where is it. Okay. So OCB is an amateur stage for natural competitors to compete for their IFPA pro cards. So it's an organization for to become pro in IFPA. So it's legit as an organization and everything. I wouldn't be doing a show if it wasn't like if it was some random organization that wasn't, you know, nationally recognized. So that's my story. I'm a week out. I'm excited. Stay tuned. I'm going to be showing you all what, my, what I'm having for my refeed day on Sunday. And then during the week, my carbs, my coach wants me to keep my carbs low, like 75 grams of carbs on a week because he really wants, wants to cuss the show. I think I'm, I think I'm getting there. All right, so I just randomly was practicing some bodybuilding poses, but yeah, I think I'm getting there as far as it cuts, but stay tuned. This last week is about to be fun. Don't, it's not gonna be any stress. I was stressing two or three days ago, like, oh, I woke up lighter and everything. So I'm excited, man, it was, it was meant to be. So stay tuned, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. Peace.